I hate you. Yeah. Wolf more than a margin, and that is for certain. Butterscotch caramel color the curtains. You might need a recipe. They thought a burger. The sauce that I'm dishing out so damn hard. Your girl gonna suck like an octopus tentacle. Her mouth and leeches do something identical. Trapping off the digital. Looking for a signal. Dodging all the police calling. Alright, guys. What is up? We are back. Just like I said, right here in the same spot. I don't what I don't think I ever noticed that. But yes, yeah, so we just cleared out this whole area, so let's go ahead. There's gonna be a few important items here. But I wanna check all these little buildings first. Okay. Cause I know there's like a couple of the spirit emblems. Yep, there's a spirit emblem right there. Spirit emblem right there. I don't know. I think I grabbed all the items from right here. What about back here? Is there any items back here? Uh, not looking like it. Alright. So we got a few important items right here and we'll pick up. So we... Alright, we got a pellet. Sorry about that. And so I was like listening. Alright, right here we got dowsing powder. Right here we got a balloon of wealth. And this is what we really want right here. The flame barrel. So if you remember when we talked to Anayama, the peddler in the Ashina outskirts, he talked about a flame barrel, this is that. So an iron barrel that spews fire can be no prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. It is difficult to control the rage-filled red eyes with the power of man alone. However, a fire-based weapon could be a means of resisting them. They are said to fear fire above all else. So obviously we need to return to the sculptor to fit that into our prosthetic um, arm. And then we can use the fire. Okay. Alright, so let's continue up this way. Oh, hello, buddy. Get wrecked. Okay, got a got a guy right here. Those worthless bastards. Hello. Uh, uh, you are Shinobi, if if I'm not mistaken. Take the Shinobi axe from from the temple and split their skulls wide open. Please. Uh, rip. That guy's dead. So he said, get the axe from the temple. But first, we're going to go left here because it's going to be a shortcut over here that we want to grab. Oh, God. What is this? Gokan sugar. I don't think we got this one yet. Sugar candy made by Shinobi Hunters. Misen Temple sustaining Gokan's blessing. Oh, Shinobi Hunters of Misen Temple sustaining Gokan's blessing. Reduces posture damage taken for a time. Bite the candy and take the Gokan stance to impart its inhuman benediction. Misen monks are well versed in the art of killing shinobi. An, un an undertaking that demands a body with an unshakable core. So that just means you don't take as much vitality damage or something. But this is the shortcut that I was talking about. So as you can see, now we're back where all these where these three dudes were. And I said we could open the door. Now we have that open, so we can explore this area now. So first things first is this. We burning this temple next for? No, leave it. Go on to the next one. But if there's any offerings, we could give them to Lord Juzo. Enough! We don't take from Buddha. How many times do I have to tell you before it sinks into your sick skull? Please, don't get angry at me, boss. I'm sorry if I scored so quick. What the fuck, dude? Oh, okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a dude in this house over here, so I don't want to just rush them. Get wrecked. Mm -hmm. What is this? Light coin purse? Nice. Alright, we want to definitely get rid of the axe guy first. And then we can take care of Fireboy. Alright. Nice and easy. 
um, bunch of statues back here and then behind this house nope all right now what we want is in this temple right here and we have the shinobi axe of the monkey a heavy black iron axe used by shinobi can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic tool become a working prosthetic to become a, a working prosthetic tool this boorish axe is used less for cutting and more for breaking things with its weight once the favored weapon of a shinobi known as the bounding monkey of the sunken valley it was lost the left arm so yeah we got an axe now so now we have two two more uh prosthetics that we can put under our arm all right let's go over here and oh we got the roosters got some more roosters over here too Pellet. Oh, and we got another level to spend. Hello. Damn, I got I took both y'all down. Okay. Um go sugar. Um, I don't remember if there's anything. Oh, there is something up here. Okay. Probably a coin purse. Yep. Usually the nests that you see on top of roofs usually have coin purses. All right, so let's head back out here. We got some boys up here that look like they're at. I don't know what they're doing. Oh. Hey, open up. Open up or else. I can hear you whispering in there. If you don't surrender peaceably now, you're gonna regret it later. Hey, can you hear me? Hey. All right, so oh, I don't know how we're gonna be able to do this. Get him! Woo, that was close. Nah, shut up, dude. Okay, now we can come over here, and there's I think a couple people that we gotta talk to in this area, like this guy. Who? Who are you? I'm not a thief. Uh, you, you're the young lords. Oh, thank goodness. Honorable Shinobi. Those filthy bandits are after the young lord. They've already climbed the hill and set the estate on fire. It looked as if the young lord had no way to escape. I beg of you, Shinobi. Please rescue the young lord. I entrust this to you. Okay. I pray a thank you. So she gave me anything else? The young lord should still be somewhere within the estate. Honorable Shinobi, please save me the fortune. Okay. So she basically wants me to save my lord, which was already my plan, I guess. Um. But. She gave me a little antidote powder or something. That's something else right here. You. You're the young master Shinobi. Yes. yes. What good are you? You were nowhere to be seen when things went south. Wait, tell me you didn't lead them here yourself. The timing of their attack was perfect. Normally those bandits wouldn't have stood a chance. Yes. Yes, it had to be you. I hope what? you die, traitor. What? You. Yes. What? Tell me. Okay, so that's, that's the same thing. All right. No, oh, eavesdrop. Uh, mm. <laughs> Try not to move. It'll make your wounds worse. No, I must go. There is a shinobi hunter among the bandits. He's highly skilled. If I don't face him, oh! I forbid it. You are in no condition. All right. I do believe that's it for this little area. So one more last area in this kind of townsy-like spot. And that's going to be right here. And look, we got a guy right here. You guys don't know. Look who it is. Hey, good sir. Are you a looter too? Good sir, you look like a shinobi, I think. Are you shinobi. looking for something? Well, in any case, <laughs> I found this place first. Hmm? <laughs> so, keep your eyes peeled out there, huh? 
And, uh, you know, don't let the door hit you on the... Oh, by the way, while I was on my way here, I saw a three-story pagoda on top of some cliff. It was a fine pagoda. Really fine. I bet there's some kind of treasure kept in there. <laughs> Gotta be. That's what I think, at least. So if you haven't been able to tell, this is Anayama. This is the guy that we saw in the Ashina outskirts selling, where he was like, oh, if you pay me 10 cent, I'll give you some information. And we paid him 20 cent, he gave us more information. He's also the one that gave us the information about the flame barrel. But now, so since we're in the past, if you remember when we first talked to him in Ashina, he was like, oh, you're from that night. This is what he was talking about. Hey, good sir. While I was on my way here, it was I. That's okay. what I think. Okay, so the same thing. Three-story pagoda, something good in there. Let's go this way real quick. Uh, and we have bundled Jizo statue. Okay. So that's it for the town area. So this whole beginning area is pretty much taken care of. Uh, I think we're going to want to head back real quick to the temple. Yeah, we're going to want to head back real quick to the temple and then fit the new prosthetic. And we also have we could spend, possibly. So yeah, let's head back real quick. No, I did not mean to hit rest. Travel, dilapidated temple. So we're going to go over here. We're going to... I don't think we have another Gordon Seed yet, so... That's not really going to matter. So we don't have a Gordon Seed, but we do have prosthetic tools to fit. And we really want the axe right now, because the axe is going to be coming up literally right next to where, like where we're at. We're going to really want it. Want it. We gonna want it, want it. Okay. So let's go talk to this dude. You need something? Uh-huh. Fit new prosthetic tool. We got the loaded axe and the flame vent. The shinobi appears you've taken to it quite well. Here, this is for you. Oh, what? Oh, nice. We got another text. A book of secrets that details a variety of techniques for use prosthetic. Grants the ability to learn prosthetic style skills written by a man who abandoned the path of the shinobi but could not bring himself to discard his painstaking research. He never expected to pass these on to anyone else. What is it? It contains ways to bite into your foes with that fang of yours. In other words, fighting techniques for your prosthetic arm. I see. I had thought that prosthetic techniques wouldn't ever be needed again, but it seems I was wrong. Okay. Um, can we do any upgrades? Nope, we have like no upgrade materials. <laughs> we have enough send this time, but we just don't have the upgrade materials. Anything no else? What I thus it will understand so. Nope, okay. Another talent. Okay. Cycle equip prosthetic tools. You got anything else to say? I'm glad you've come. Nope. Goodbye. Okay. So now we have a whole nother branch of skills to unlock, but first Um I'm gonna put this and I'm gonna put the flame vent. Cause I don't really care about the shuriken. I don't really use the shuriken that much, to be honest. But now we got the axe. Let's go ahead and check out our skills. Since we have two. Vault over. Eh, I don't really care too much about that. I do want Shinobi eyes. Um, yes, this is our new... That's what I wanted for the Gyobu fight. Grapple attack. Yeah. Um... Oh yeah, dude, we're de we definitely want that. You get health from killing enemies with a death blow? That's, yeah. So we're gonna go Shinobi's Karma, Shinobi Karma's body, so that we can get this. So now we're, now we're grinding, basically, for five skill points, because that's a lot of skill points. Okay, so now we can head back to this. And... 
I think we're coming up on another mini boss that gives me problems quite a bit. So hopefully we don't have too much trouble with him. Um, and yeah, and then I guess after we take out that mini boss, probably just end the video there. And I'll probably be my my last video for the day, to be honest with you guys. Um, so yeah, let's just we gotta hurry up, kill these guys. Please don't shoot me. Of course you fuck. Oh my god, I'm fucking. Wow. Well, I don't even care about that one. I'm just gonna let myself die right there because that was just fucking stupid. That was ridiculous. Like, come on, dude. You guys perfectly timed your attack so that as soon as I get hit with an arrow, the other dude's attacking. Like, that's so stupid. <laughs> okay. Probably law. Oh, I didn't really... Wow. I'm just now getting... Okay. I can't believe this is just now happening. Your death is not your fate. Just yet. <coughs> so that cutscene, Rot S and Sculptor somewhere at Pain Cough rings out continuously. The man who costs zealously sculpts zealously sculpts statues of Buddha to avoid being consumed by the the building flames. Only this item reduces one's chances of receiving unseen aid. Raw essence, timid maid, somewhere a pain cough rings out continuously, the coughing and wheezing sounds of an old woman deeply worried about her beloved master. Owning this item reduces one's chances of receiving an unseen aid. And bang, dra bam, bang. <laughs> so this is basically explaining what Dragon Rod is. The more one... With the power of the dragon's heritage dies, the more sickness known as dragon rot spreads to the world. Dragon rot is not caused by resurrection. It has... Dragon rot is not caused by... What? It has a chance to occur only when wolf truly dies repeatedly. The more rot essence wolf ha has, the lower the chances of receiving un unseen aid. So yeah. As you can see, I just lost 300... Sen... And now, what's wrong? This guy has raw essence. Dragon rot, the stagnation or dragon rot spreads a disease that leads eventually to death. What are you talking about? You don't need to worry about me. I'm not normal, you see. It's difficult for me to speak now. Ask Emma about the rest. All right, so we gotta talk to Emma about that. I'm pretty sure this is where she continues her quest line. Have you seen the sculptor lately? Yes. He's... All I know is what Dogen told me long ago. That the dragon's heritage can bestow the power of resurrection. However, it is not any ordinary power. Repeated use leads to stagnation, which will eventually reach a point where it overflows. This causes those who do not have the power to become sick. A disease known as Dragon Rot. He knew much about it, but even so, he was unable to determine a cure. Forgive me. Is there a way to treat this Dragon Rot? I do not know. However, it must be stopped. I am unsure. But the first step is to look through my mentor's research and see if I can discover a way. Thank you. So basically, I'm going to give you a quick touchdown on what the whole the whole mechanic is basically the more and more you die it kind of makes the game harder for you meaning if you keep dying you're not going to have a chance of getting your xp and your sin not have at death and also you get people sick around you npcs in particular people that you can talk to um they end up getting sick the more and more that you die um certain people have quest lines that you cannot 
further basically if they are sick because they'll be sick you can't do anything with them basically and you have to get the dragon blood droplets that you saw from the one dude with the tent you have to get those and you have to basically burn them in a bonfire or whatever to get rid of people's dragon rot so she's basically going to tell me that I need to go get someone's blood that has dragon rot so that she can figure out a way to cure it. There must be a way to treat the dragon rot. The first step is to look through my mentor's research and see if I can discover a way. There must be the first... Okay. Goodbye. So basically what we need to do right now is go back to a bonfire that we've already been to. Um, Ashina outskirts, and we'll go to is it the gate path? Yeah, gate path. So we want to go to the girl, the woman that gave us the bell that let us go back to the past because it said, if you didn't see when it said rot essence, it said rot essence timid maid, and that's who that is. So we want to go get some blood from her. Because she's got it now, so she's going to be coughing and stuff when I find her. She was right over here. So we're going to go to her real quick, get some blood from her. And, uh... Oh, God. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Whew, I thought I was dead, right? I thought I fell to the... Well, like I said, you don't die if you fall, but... Oh no, I'm gonna get bombed. Move! What is going on, dude? Jesus Christ. Alright, fuck you. Alright, so this this woman has rot essence now. The dragon rot. As you can see, she's got dragon rot. Inosuke. Inosuke. Yes. Protect the young master. You hear? All right. We are counting on you. Wait, what? Oh, wow. I can't even do it yet. God damn it. Okay. Whoa, it was like not letting me move. Okay. We're going to use this real quick. And dilapidated temple. Yes. I think maybe I had to rest and then try to talk to her again. Or something like that. Because there's a point where she'll be like someone who's sick. And that's how we'll figure out. Okay, yeah, because now she's not out here. She should be inside here. Okay, there we go. What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize you were here. The sculptor has been coughing blood. I took a sample of this blood for my dragon rot research. A sample of his blood? Yes, blood that he's coughed up. The color of the blood itself appears to be tainted, stagnant, but the sculptor's blood alone isn't enough to reach any conclusions. Is there anything I can do? Yes. Bring me samples of blood coughed up by others that suffer from the dragon rot. If I have more, I'll be able to learn more about the disease. If I come across anyone afflicted by the dragon rot, I'll ask them. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. So now, now we're going to go do what we were just trying to do. I thought she had already gave us that line, but I guess not. <laughs> so for those of you that need to know, she, she needs to be inside there with the sculptor to give you that dialogue. So let's do this again. Because now we'll go back to her when it, you know how it said do nothing. Now it should be an option to say take dragon blood or whatever. Or take coughed up blood. And we should be good. Really? Why did it not let me go up? Okay. 
Let's make our way downtown, if you know what I mean. And then we'll head back to Harata. And, uh, god damn it, I never can make that fucking jump. That shit's so dumb. I don't want to get anybody's attention. So hopefully I can get around this guy now this time. Okay. Okay, now she should have the option. Protect the young master. Yes, yes, we already know. Okay, so take cop the blood. There we go. Blood sample. All right, dragon rot blood sample. Blood sample of a dragon rot victim contains stagnant blood. Emma can use this to find a cure for dragon rot. Now to bring this to Lady Emma. Okay, now we can go back. Back to the temple. Go give the blood to Emma. Probably rest again because it'll probably have to rest to, to continue the the uh, story part, whatever. And then once we do that, she'll be like, look, I found the cure. Do this, do this, do this. This is how you cure it. And then we can cure it so that the sculptor doesn't have it anymore. And then we'll head back to the uh harata estate i'm glad you've come master wolf all right so dragon blood i've obtained one a blood sample let me see the coloration is very similar to the sculptors the color is just slightly tainted but what's this hmm. do you have enough blood i believe so allow me to continue my research into the dragon rot when we speak again it's likely I'll have made a breakthrough. In fact, count on it. Okay, so just to make sure. Goodbye. I'm gonna rest. What is happening? Okay. Rest. And now she should be good. I've been waiting for you. Any progress? Yes. I've found some answers. The source of the dragon rot is the stagnation in your blood. What causes the stagnation? The blood has only a limited amount of power available to it. Let's say you've used all of this power, and then you attempt to resurrect again. The resurrection still occurs, but... It must draw on power from another source. From those that have the dragon rot? I believe so. For those who have the dragon rot, the natural life force that everyone has, that allows them to live their lives and function as human beings, has been taken from them. Their blood has stagnated. Can it be cured? Yes. By giving back what has been taken. Here you are. Okay, so that's what the dragon's blood drop is for. You basically burn those at bonfires and it cures anyone that has the rot, uh, dragon rot at the moment. Recovery charm. Oh yeah, that basically enables you to do that at a bonfire. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that and then I'm probably going to end the video there, guys, to be honest. So now, you see we have dragon rot restoration option. Go ahead and do that. And yeah, so now the sculptor doesn't have dragon rod or anything, so we can go ahead and travel back to Harata State, and I'll end the video there, guys. Got quite a bit done today. Killed Gyobu, killed a couple mini bosses, or a mini boss, something like that. Got through some areas. Things I like to do, getting things done. Okay, well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the. Sorry, you guys probably hear my thing, my alarm going off. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time with some more Sekiro with GGA. And uh, yeah, hope you guys had a good one. Everybody